problem three from chapter five, the section on um, terminal, off amp terminal currents and voltages. And in this problem, we have a circuit, some voltage VA, um, and connected to um, 20 kilo ohms at the VN terminal and then at the VP terminal, VN, VP. So at the positive terminal, we are connected to some voltage source VB and a 40 kilo ohm resistor. Feedback resistor is 100K and V out is connected to, um, is the voltage drop across the 50K resistor. So we're going to find um, V out for different values of VA and VB. And then for part F, we will be looking at, we will, we will be looking for the linear range if VB is 1.6 volts. So let's get started. We could go through and you do no voltage and solve all of these individually, but the easier thing to do is to find um, a relationship between V out and V A and V B, and then just plug in those values. So that's what we're going to do. So let's take KCL at V N. So KCL at V N gives me V N minus V A over 20K plus Vn minus Vout over 100K plus In equals zero. We're not going to go op In is zero. Okay. So that's one equation that we have relating Vout and Va. The second equation we're going to use is we're going to take the KCL at Vp. So KCL at VP gives you VP minus VB over 40, and that's equal to zero. Plus, excuse me, technically we have a plus IP is equal to zero, but IP for an ideal op amp is zero. So then we have this equation VP minus VB is equal to zero. Right? So if I multiply both sides by zero, I get VP minus VB is equal to zero. And therefore, if I solve this equation, VB minus VP is equal to zero, and come up with VP is really VB. So, right. So then I'm going to do a O. Oh, and since VP for an ideal op amp, VN is equal to VP, that means that VN is really, since VN is VP and VP is VB, VN is equal to VB. So everywhere I see VN, I'm going to substitute VB in it. So now my new KCL equation at VN is, is VB minus VA is e over 20. VB minus V out over 100 is equal to zero. And let me double check that I haven't made any mistakes there. Right. Okay. So now we have this relationship between V out and VA and VB, and we're going to do algebra to solve them. So this is zero. That means I'm going to move this. Actually, I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 100K to get rid of fractions. 100K. When I do that, I have this 100K over 20K is 5. So this will give me 5VB minus 5VA. And 100K over 100K is just 1. So that will give me VB minus V out is equal to 0. I can combine VB, 5VB, and 6VB, uh, 5VB, and um, actually I have a negative V out here, so I'm just going to move it over here to be positive V out. So V out then is equal to what? 5VB, and 1VB is 6VB, minus 5VA, and that is a relationship between V out, VB, and VA. So let's put that general equation up here and just start plugging in values. So we just solved this general equation that relates everything together. V out is 6VB minus 5VA. So then when VA is 4, 
Um, we have 6 times 4, which is 24, and the L is 0, and that's 24 minus 0 is 0. So 6 times, hmm, so we have 6 times 4 minus 5 times 0 is 24. But I forgot to draw this. Our terminal voltages are 15 positive, and our negative terminal voltage is negative 15, and we can't exceed that. So the set, it saturates at 15, therefore, when at these values, our V out will be 15. So V out is positive 15. Can't generate power. All right, so what about when it's two and zero? Six times two minus five times zero. That should just be, V out is equal to 6 V. 6, oops, I wonder I got the answer wrong. V B is 0, so 6 times 0. Oops, let's go back. This should be negative. I put my V B and V out in the wrong place. Let's start over. Okay. Take 2. So my V out should be 6 times 0 minus 5 times 4, which is really negative 20, and so V out should be negative 15. My bad. And then so here, 6VB minus 5VA. So the V out is equal to 6 times 0 minus 5 times 2, which is negative 10 volts. So part B is negative 10. Part C is 6 times 1 minus 5 times 2. That's 6 minus 10, which is minus 4. Negative 4 volts. And Part D is 6 times 2. Oops, I always mix B and A up. So 6 times B is 2. Minus 5 times 1, so that's 12 minus 5, which is 7. So that is 7 volts. And last but not least, we have. 6 times, let's see, B is 2, and V is 1 minus 5 times, hang on, E, e is V out, V A is 1.5, and V, oh my dear goodness gracious, I get like so many typos. So E should be, E should say here VB is, those typos, typos. So VB should be 4 volts and this should be 1.5. So, so the part E is going to be 6 times 4 minus 5 times 1.5. So that's going to be 24 minus 7 and a half, I think. Can't do these things very well in my head. But 24 minus, so I did it in the calculator, and it is 16.5 volts. But we saturate at 15. So therefore, V out can't be greater than 15. V out is 15. Now we're looking for the linear range for v, if VB is um, 1.6 volts. So the linear range is going to be less than or greater to 15 volts, or greater than or equal to negative 15 volts. And we're saying we're taking VB to be 1.6. So now we just need to solve these equations. So let's take, solve this one right here. So I have 6 times 1.6 minus 5VA has to be less than or equal to, or greater than, excuse me, 
pointing away greater than or equal to negative 15 volts. So bring that to that side and solving for A, that gives me VA has to be, okay, so we got negative 15. Negative, negative 15 minus 6 times 1.6. Where I make mistakes is when I start like taking shortcuts and doing things in my head. So that's going to be negative 24.6 divided by negative 5 changes the arrow. So 24.6 divided by negative 5 is needs to be less than 4.92. So that's the upper limit. So now we found the upper limit, we need to find the lower limit. So let's put this value here. We know 4.92 is one of the values. And that came from this inequality. Now we need that inequality. So solving for that inequality, 15 minus 6 times 1.6 gives me negative 5VA is less than or equal to 5.4 divided by negative 5. The A change the sign because we're dividing by a negative. Divide by negative 5 will give me negative 1.08. So the linear range for this, if um, we take VB to be 1.6 is VA is less than or equal to 4.92 and greater than or equal to negative 1.08. And that is problem number 3 from chapter 5. So be sure that if you receive help, that you share the video and um, that you like the Facebook page. Thanks.